Hello guys, what is up? Me D with Ben Fan here, and um, I just want to thank each and every one of you uh, that watched my Kentucky Derby prediction. So far, it's got 400 video views in four days, so I'm really happy with that. That is a new record for my channel, is 400 video views. So, everybody that watched it, um, just to let you guys know that I will be doing more analysis on the Preakness and the Belmont Stakes race, just like I did for the Derby, make my predictions, uh, have any news about any of the horses, uh, I'll let you know pretty much right on this channel. Uh, because I'm not all Call of Duty channel, uh, as you know, I'm starting NBA 2K12, my player mode, top 5 plays of the week. Uh, that is up, and it's got 10 views so far in one day. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to mix it up, and how do you guys like that, like, bringing in different stuff like the NBA playoff predictions, Call of Duty, uh, talking about the Preakness and the Derby and the Belmont Stakes, uh, well, we'll be talking about the Preakness and Belmont Stakes, and then, uh, you know, doing the top five plays of the week for basketball, I mean, how do you like it? You like mixing up the channel a little bit? And I like it. I like to do vlogs and, you know, doing some different stuff each time. So, pretty much, uh, the order of finish for the Derby was uh, I'll Have Another, which I had Bodemeister winning. Uh, although, Bodemeister did um, come in second. Uh, but if you didn't watch my Derby prediction video, go check it out. But I predicted Bodemeister the six. Uh, Calvin Burrell's horse, Take Charge Indy, in second, which he did awful. And he really didn't do awful. If you go back and watch a race replay, he had that horse up on the rail for the final turn in third place, and he got pinned in, and he couldn't do anything with the horse in front of him, and he ended up finishing 19th, but, you know, he was going to push him, the horse, because uh, he wasn't going to get in the top five anyways, so, um... You know, he's just like, you know, what the heck. And I like Calvin Burrell, he's an amazing jockey, and he knows what to do. And usually if something happens like that, he'll let the horse just go back if he gets pinned in. But he would have gotten the top five, three, actually. I think top three if he would have been all right. Um, but that's who I had second. Then I had uh, Union Rags third, and I had six, three, four, um, eight, I think was my order of finish. And Union Rags didn't show up at all. But he really didn't do too bad, actually. Um, if you go back and look at the race replay, right off the bat, he starts out real slow, like, breaking out of the gate. He might have been the last. Um, and then he got bumped. So, yeah, he was in the back for almost the whole time. And I think he, he finished in the top ten. So, you know, that's not too bad for Union Rags. And then Creative Cause came fifth. But the order finished the Derby... Tony my picks was number 19 I'll have another now a lot of, in my strategy I don't like to pick the horses high up because they're on the far outside they have the furthest to run and they usually don't win and if they can't get down on the rail or close to the rail they probably won't win that's why I don't pick uh, any horse above 10 uh, sometimes I will if it's like a favorite but really there wasn't any horses that I liked that I wanted to pick that were up in the top, uh, you know, past the top 10, there was none. And it was a real surprise. Again, then Dolahan came second. Uh, so one of my horses came in. Then, uh, not Dolahan, uh, sorry, Bodemeister came second. Dolahan came third, which he was a favorite. I still didn't pick him, though, but he was a favorite at number, he was number five horse. Uh, Bodemeister was the sixth. And, uh, yeah, and then, and, Hold on, in the third, uh, or fourth, came, um, oh, what's, what was the horse's name? Now I gotta click on the video to see. I can't remember every single horse's, but I, I can remember some, and you'll probably hear it in the background a little bit. Oh, uh, went the day well with odds 21, but they did come down a little bit. And thank you guys for watching this, and just to let you know, uh, I might be doing a giveaway for the... I might be doing a giveaway for, oh, let me get out of my YouTube quick, for the Preakness, like, uh, giving away a Walmart gift card, uh, if you pick the correct order of finish, um, I might, uh, do that, I'm still thinking though, so, um, yeah, so th just thank you for everybody for the Derby, uh, um,
what was I going to say? I'll have another broker record in history um, for going to the uh, Preakness the earliest out of every any horse the next day he left, which the the earliest before was uh, four days after the Derby. But he hurried up and went. So um, yeah, the next uh, horse picking thing I'll have will be um, my predictions, which will come out next week. Uh, when I look at the horses, uh, so my Preakness prediction will come out next week. Make sure you check it out if you watch my Kentucky Derby prediction. Uh, subscribe so you know when it comes out. You'll get an email telling you that it, you know I made a video. Uh, so yeah, if you're a horse fan and you want to see the Preakness, uh, my Preakness predictions, please uh, subscribe if you would. And uh, coming out, well, probably. At I didn't record it yet, but it'll be out before this is Infected Tuesdays 9, which uh, is pretty neat, will be out. And yeah, check out my Keek as well, d Wade Ben Finn. So I know it's a long video, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to every single one of you out there that watched the 400 views of my predictions. Uh, and if you want to see more, subscribe, please, if you would. Uh, and the Preakness predictions will be out next week and might be a giveaway too. So please subscribe because you have to be subscribed. And I'll announce if I'm doing a giveaway in next week's Preakness video. See you guys later. Salute to you. Bye. Got my Wade wristband. Let's go heat.